The thirteenth of May in the Covadiria appeared also brilliant the Virgin Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. To three little shepherds Our Lady appeared the light of her grace to her son's souls endeared. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brother, what's your name again? What's your name? Basana. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Father Jerry McCluskey. I'm from Ireland, and I have uh, Don Basana, Brother Bansana, uh, a conventual friar, assisting me at the Mass here this afternoon. Today we celebrate the Feast of the, uh, the Lateran Basilica, the dedication of the Lateran Basilica, but I'm offering this vote of Mass of Our Lady of Fatima. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord God, Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful may build up the heavenly Jerusalem through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne, you see this city? Here God lives among men. He will make his throne among them. They shall be his people, 
and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there will be no more death, no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke, now I am making the whole of creation new. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, you are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest honor of our race. God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with blessings, since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees. You are the highest honor of our <clears throat> race. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed that the promise made you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother, and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then he said to the disciple, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. We pray for the grace to make a place for her in our homes. And we do that by consecrating ourselves to her immaculate heart. My immaculate heart, she told the little children, will be your refuge and the way that leads to God. It is indeed our only refuge because Our Lady was faithful right to the end and in these days where infidelity is on the increase and where God is already so much offended, we need to learn from Mary and stand by the foot of the cross as she did, stand by her son Jesus, stand by the mystical body of his, of, of his, stand by his mystical body, the body of Christ. Today is the, we celebrate the feast of the chair of Peter. It's a feast of unity, unity with the chair of Peter, unity with our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Lady is such a wonderful mother. When we consecrate ourselves to her, she shares with us the dimensions of her own heart, a heart that is full of mercy, full of understanding, a heart that pardons, and forgives, and she will give us the dimensions of her heart when we consecrate ourselves and give us a greater love for the church. Today her heart is saddened as the church, which is going through so much suffering, is loved less and less. But she gives us this grace to love the church and to be faithful to the church, the mystical body of Christ, and also to love our Holy Father, Pope Francis, how grieved she must be when she hears him criticized and how much we must love him because he is the rock 
upon which the church is built. You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. So let's pray as we consecrate ourselves to her Immaculate Heart that she will give us that love for everyone that we meet, for her church and for her son's representative on earth, our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Father, we thank you for gathering us here together this day. Listen now to the prayers that we bring before you. For all the faithful, that by obeying the appeals of Mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they be attentive to the word of God, love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm, as Mary did. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here present and for our families, that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him. Sinners may be converted. Young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this feast of the chair of Peter, we pray for unity within the church and for a greater love for our Holy Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us ask Mary, our mother, to accompany us on our pilgrim journey to heaven, to be with us especially in times of discouragement or temptation, and always to get for us the Holy Spirit, to courageously be witnesses to the faith, and to bring our love to everyone. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Listen, God, our Father, to these and all the prayers of our hearts, and grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink.
Brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of Accept, we pray, O Lord, the, soft, the offering made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your benevolence, you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace, and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year, you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice will be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he said to this blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of your saving praise of, your, of, your, of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy, and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by his body and blood and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, 
one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain in an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Jacinta and St. Francisco, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Antonio your bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, grant to us your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity where you live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
From the cross, Jesus said to his mother, This is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly on to thee. O Virgin of virgins, my mother, to thee do I come. Before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Lord, having received with joy these heavenly sacraments. Grant us, we pray you, that they may lead us to eternal life, where we may rejoice forever with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. By honoring Mary and loving her son, the peace of the world will most surely be won.